Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear Good me well? Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. I'm happy to see you. Hello, sir. Okay, I'm happy to see you too. <laughs> How was your weekend? So, so great. <laughs> it was great. Nice. It was great. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, welcome to the class number eight, guys. And we are in the middle of the course, right? <laughs> well, um, let me tell you something important for this week, because I know you made plans for the week. Um, there was a problem with the recording of one video last week. I think it was Thursday. Ah, no, guys, but it was not, it's not this group, I remember. It's the other group. <laughs> never mind, never mind, okay? <laughs> well, so let's start today with the class. Let me show you in a moment, you will see the class presentation. Well, the last class, we were learning how to use wood and wheel um, when ordering in a restaurant. And today you are going, some of you are going to present, some of you are going to present the role play ordering in a restaurant. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Great, very good. So yeah, that's what we're gonna have today. Ordering in a restaurant and role play. So in this session, the conversation will be played with a waiter and a customer. I use model verbs such as wooden wheel for request. Okay, so we're going to have recalling previous knowledge, ordering in a restaurant, writing about food, and wrap up. So we are going to try to review the vocabulary. 
Here we can see how we can describe food. We can describe meals. We can describe the tastes, the tastes. We can describe the texture of the food. And we also we can describe the smell, the smell of the food. So we can say that meals are delicious, tasty, yummy, mm, or disgusting, awful, or horrible. You can say those pupusas were awful, right? Or mm, that pizza was so tasty. So when describing food, you can use this vocabulary. For tasting, you can say that the food was savory. You could feel the savor or the taste. Or you can say that it was salty with too much salt. Or sweet, like a cake, a piece of cake. Or sour, like a lemon. Bitter like pacayas, beers, or is not the flower, <laughs> or you can say it was hot, cold, or peppery means with a lot of pepper, spicy, very hot. You put a lot of Jalisco right on the food, it was spicy, or fresh like a lettuce, like a salad. It was rich, delicious, or a Strong flavor, strong taste. For example, you can say that an espresso coffee is strong. Or tasteless, no flavor, no taste, right? Tasteless, sin sabor, tasteless. Now, textures. For textures, you can say crispy. The food was like chicken, crispy chicken, or um, sometimes some cookies are crispy or tender, especially crujiente. crispy, crujiente, yes. Tender is especially for meat. You say that it was tender, tender chicken, tender beef. Um, or tough, which is the opposite of tender. Okay, smooth, like a smoothie, the texture is like the smoothie, it's smooth, right? Oh, what do you mean? Sorry, Julio? Espumoso is, no. Eh, no, espumoso will be foamy but a smooth is well like a smoothie but um how can i express that let's see Esponjoso. okay Esponjoso. teacher Esponjoso? no let me see suave yeah that one like soft thank you the ice cream can be smooth, smooth, right? Creamy, something creamy. Mm, we also have chewy. Chewy is something that sometimes you have to chew a lot to eat it, chewy. Mm, we also have oily, with a lot of oil or fatty, a lot of fat or greasy, okay? Mm -hmm. I what is chewy? Chewy, that you chewy. have to, to eat. You have to do this, like chew a lot. Well, sometimes, um, uh, well, chewy is chicloso, right? Like the cheese can be chewy. <laughs> Or other, or sometimes the meat can be chewy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it smells stinking. 
for example, the well, but thinking, but in a negative in a negative sense, thinking, right? Fragrant, positive, or smelly. It's like kind of positive, negative, smelly could be good. For example, when you fry fish, the fish is a smelly, right? <laughs> and we can see. And we can see here some food that are smelly, like the cheese. The cheese is smelly. You can smell the cheese. The bread can be tender, right? When the, when the bread is fresh, it's tender, right? And soft. Or the cake is sweet and the French fries are salty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. We have more examples here. So food can be bland, like bland, boring, not interesting. Can be savory, which means not sweet, but savor. Uh, stale, not fresh, dry, or hardened. Okay. The food can be fresh, can be moist, a little wet, like tres leches. Right, crunchy. I think you understand that crunchy. You can hear the crunch, like potato chips, rich, containing a large amount of cream, butter, sugar, or the like. Soggy, too soft because of liquid. Greasy with a lot of oil. Spicy, having lots of flavor from spice. And dry, which means not wet, tasty, savory, pleasant in taste. <laughs> we have an example here. It says, Mary and Daniela says that blue cheese is very smelly. Yeah, that, that was equal says, right? <laughs> that blue cheese, but that is a that is a, a famous cheese in El Salvador that is very smelly. It says that it smells like, smells like food. <laughs> but I don't remember the name of the cheese. Do you remember the name of the cheese? Because Queso I duro, duro, duro viejo. Queso duro viejo, yes, that's right. Thank you, David. Okay. So. Good. Thank you so much for your attention. <laughs> there is an exercise that we can do together in which we can practice these adjectives. It's loading, guys, and it's still yes. Okay, I will share that screen. Describing food. So instructions, look at the pictures and match them with an adjective, okay? For example, bitter. We have pineapples, cotton, uh, we have pizza, we have a potato, we have lemons, a uh, chicken. What is this? Beer is lemon. <laughs> Okay, we have here French fries and the chili pepper. Okay, Peter says, someone said that it is the lemon. Okay. Bored. What bored means? We have here a potato. A potato burn. And it's born. Okay, look at the pictures. And we, okay. <laughs> the potato is born. <laughs> okay, well, sometimes my tortillas, tortillas or bread get, get born. It's pizza. <laughs> okay, it's cheesy. cheesy, pizza. The pizza is cheesy. What is spicy? The salsa hot. The sauce, the hot sauce. Very good. The hot sauce 
Is it spicy? The hot sauce. Yes, the hot sauce. What is fluffy? The cotton candy. The sweet cotton. Yeah, the cotton candy. Very good. That is fluffy. The crisp. The fried chicken. chicken. The fried chicken. chicken is crisp. Fried chicken. What is crunchy? Oh. You, when you eat them, you you hear the crunch. French, French fries. The fries. Fries. The French fries. And juice. Pineapple. Juice. Pineapple. The pineapple are juicy. The pineapples are juicy. Very good. Now here we have to complete the sentences using the correct adjective. Wings, chicken wings, are usually spicy, juicy, or cheesy. Spicy. 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 Yes. Wings are usually spicy. Cheeseburgers are always spicy, cheesy, or bitter. Cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy. cheesy right? Other examples of cheesy. A pizza. Pizza. And pupusas. Do you yeah. like cheesy pupusas? Pupusas with a lot of cheese. Do you like cheese? Oh, yeah, <laughs> of course. With a lot of cheese, right? <laughs> okay, this bread is fluffy, bitter, or burnt. I can eat it. Fluffy? Fluffy. But you can't eat it because oh, burnt. it's burnt. Burnt, exactly. <laughs> the bread or tortillas, right? This tortilla is born. It's black. No. I can't eat it, right? <laughs> okay. Most fruits are really juicy. Juicy. Yes. Examples of juice. Orange. Orange. Apple. Watermelon. Apple. Watermelon. Strawberry. The strawberry, exactly. Most fruits are juicy. They make juice of them. French fries are crisp, crunchy, crunchy. and burnt. Crunchy. 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 Lemon is too bitter. 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 Yes, especially when it's old. Japanese cheesecake. Fluffy. Fluffy. Have you seen Fluffy. Japanese cheesecake? Yeah. No. It looks big. like a jello. I don't know. It's yeah. like a, it's like a big cupcake. Like a I never taste. It's fluffy. I never taste it. <laughs> or it's similar. Well, I don't know, but it's similar to the pan de muerto. Right, fluffy to be a little bit fluffy, but the pandemic is less fluffy, right? But the Japanese cheesecake is very fluffy. Okay, these carrots are really crunchy, crunchy. or spicy, yeah. crunchy, right? Crunchy. When you eat it, crunch. you can hear the crunch. Those okay. are delicious carrots. Okay, thank you so much. So now here you can see examples of descriptions of food, right? Descriptions of food, adjectives that you can use to describe food. Good. So let's continue with the rest of the class. Teacher. Yes, Marine? I don't understand much the meaning of tender. Tender. Well, do you know the slogan of Campero Chicken? Oh, I I never heard it on English. I don't remember. Well, um, tender, crunchy, and juicy. Tierno. Mm, like. Ah, okay. Oh. Tender, juicy, and crunchy. <laughs> tender, tender, like soft. 
yes, like soft. Mm -hmm. Like is the same is the same as smooth. Mm, no, not really, because tender is more is like the texture. Like something more, creamy. More for, more for for example for 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 vegetables like potatoes. This potato is tender. It's like in the right in the right um. I, I forgot the word. Like the the um when you cook the potatoes, like the perfect time is tender, right? Or the chicken or the meat. Tender right? teacher, tender can be like a, a fresh meat. Yeah, but then there is the, the consistency, the consistency of the food. Uh, mm -hmm. al dente. Exactly, that was the word. <laughs> es como tierno, tierno. Yes, it's not too, it's not too... It's in point. It, in, exact, in the exact point. Very good, thank you. Tierno <laughs> Yeah, like the, like the campero chicken. Okay, um, guys, can you make some sentences using the adjectives for describing food? Can you make up some sentences? Let's write or let's type in the chat. And while you write and make up your sentences, I'm going to take the attendance, okay? So please. I, I, I eat, eat hokote tender in vacation. Tender jocotes, mm, delicious. <laughs> okay, let's see. Is Aleida Samira present? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Ana Beatriz Lopez de Lopez. Ana Beatriz Martinez de Lopez. Anna was just participating. What happened to Anna? Or maybe she had a problem with the connection. But she was connected, right? <laughs> and participating. Andrea Esteracosta? Here, Miss. Brandon Steven Gomez? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Brandon. Caleb Ariel Rivera. Caleb Ariel. Efraín Emilio Acevedo. Okay, Emilio. Hebel Virginia Tobar de Castillo. Presentes. Ingrid Maricela Flores. Ah, here, teacher. Okay. Irma Adriana Segura Araujo. Bien. Okay, um, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia. Present. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Vaquerán. Present teacher. Juan David Madrid. Present teacher. I am. Eh, Juan José García. Present teacher. Julio César Alfaro. Present teacher. Okay, Kevin José Flores. Kevin Josías Flores Barrera. Hey, Julio, it's the first time I see you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's the first time I see your face, right? Because your camera is on. Lorena de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Um, what about Luis Cibrián? Present teacher. Thank you, Luis. El María José Navarro Mengíbar. Present, Miss. Mary Daniela Carranza. Present teacher. Lagro de la Paz Jiménez. Here I am, Miss. 
Ok, Milagro, Midna, Lantos de Luna. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Adán Cerón. Nelson Cerón. Patricia Esmeralda García Funes. Present Miss. Sandra Elizabeth Asensio González. Present. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Corea. Okay. Sandra Elizabeth Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Elizabeth Mosa. Present teacher. Okay. Stephanie Abigail Quintanilla. I'm here. And Valeria del Carmen Alfaro. Present. Did I, did I mention all of you? Teacher, do you call me? Yes, Anna. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yes. Okay, let's see your example. I don't want to eat bitter food. I prefer sweet food. Excellent, Milagro. My bananas are fragrant. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they are like smelly. You can feel the smell of fried bananas. I like crispy chicken. I think you wanted to say crispy chicken. And I don't like to eat food to I prefer fruit. Okay. Okay, Geraldine, you can say I don't like to eat sweet food. The adjective goes before the noun, sweet food. Um, let's see, I like a spicy food. Me too, Lorena. <laughs> Okay, the smashed potatoes are very smooth. The smashed potatoes is very smooth. Yeah, that's correct. I ate greasy pupusas with a lot of cheese. Greasy and cheesy. Carao's juice stinks. <laughs> it's, it's right. That is a great example. Carao's juice stinks. Yeah, remember, it's juicy is the adjective and the noun is juice okay guayabas uh, rip guayabas are very smelly right when they are ripped another one okay sorry about that Okay, thank you for your example. You see, I love when the, the students have so great ideas. Sometimes the teacher, uh, you know, the brain is working so much that sometimes I forget the examples or the ideas, but you guys, you have them and you have great examples too. Let's see another one. Teacher. I have a question. Hmm? Uh, I don't understand uh, oily, fat, fatty, and greasy. It is the same. Can you same. tell me oily. an example? Oily with a lot of oil. For the example, the French fries, right? A lot of oil. Uh, fatty when it has a lot of fat. For example, in sausages are fatty. Sausages and greasy is like the pupusas are greasy, empanadas are greasy or oily, right? With a lot of grasa. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you. All the fried food are oily or greasy. Sometimes, for example, the quesillo, quesillo is greasy, right? So that's why uh, the pupusas are sometimes greasy or pork pupusas are greasy, right? Chicharrón. Oil, oil podría ser cuando el plátano frito, ¿no? O sea, cuando exactly. está muy maduro. The fried banana or the fried plantain is, could be oily. The chicharrón, teacher, is, all, is oily and greasy. What? What food? The chicharron. Chicharrones. Yes, the pork. The fried pork. 
-hmm. They are fatty or greasy. <laughs> Se podría traducir como mantecoso. Exactly, that would be fatty. Delicioso. Oily, aceitos. En gris y grasos. Ok. <laughs> Look at Milagro's face. She's like, ooh, I don't like that food. <laughs> Julio. El estado de, de un mango existe, por ejemplo, tiernito le decimos nosotros. Después, yeah. sazón, sazón existe en inglés y maduro. Yes. Um, when it's green, green, green mango, it's green. Uh -huh. And maduro is ripped. I will write ripped. it in the chat. Yeah. And mangoes. Cuando se pasa de maduro, es over ripped. <laughs> But, ¿Y cómo se diría think, tete? <laughs> También. I think, I think that word doesn't exist in English. <laughs> I think it's my very, very, our, very Salvadorian. <laughs> Let, I'm looking for the word sazón. It just says in their proper condition. So that is not a word, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in English, but you can say proper condition. So that, that, that is not a word in English for sazon, right? But oh, you can say that. The mango is in the proper condition, not, not green and not ripped. Solo puede estar tiernito o maduro. Yeah, I mean, you remember that there are words in English that there is not a translation in Spanish. And there are words in Spanish that don't exist in English. Good. So now, guys, we need to continue. With, we're going to continue with the presentations, with the conversations. So who's going to start? Who's going to start? Volunteers or victims? There is a silence. Complete silence. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. Mm -hmm. Well, teacher. I well I didn't finish my conversation. Well I finished, but I I couldn't send it to Sandra. I don't know if she is here. Yeah, all the Sandras are present today. Guys, I just want to make a correction for the word Maduro. I wrote no. I P P E D. It's I'm just R I B E. Right. Is right. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I still got confused. Podría decirse pulposo también. Sobre de Maduro. Which one? Podría decirse pulposo. Mm. Ella está maduro. No. Pulpi. It's the first time I, I hear that word. But yeah, it, it exists. Pulpi. But I think it's different. 
disculpe. Eh, and right. Sí. Right es más que todo como está listo para comerse, ¿no? Yeah. Es maduro. Right. Right. Food. Okay, guys. So, let's see. Volunteers for the conversations. Last class, we have David participated. And I think I'm... Yes, and Hebel. And Hebel. Okay, David and Virginia. Hebel, Virginia. Mm -hmm. What about Lorena or Valeria, Geraldine, Stephanie, Brandon, Juan Jose, Milagro, Sandra? Yes, I, I don't remember who was my classmate uh, I don't. <laughs> I'm sorry miss I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry too okay so the next time we're gonna do it the same in the same class because later you don't remember right you suffer amnesia I know that is a man but I, I don't I don't remember the name Yo fui. <laughs> was Alejandro Vaquerano. Alejandro, no. are you ready to see the end of the conversation? I, 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 but, yeah, what was the, the activity, teacher? The, the order, order and client? The, the, was the and server. Customer yes. and server. Customer and, and, and client, right? Or no? Server. Uh huh. In the server or the waiter or waitress. But I didn't remember the the question. What would uh, you like what would you, what, what, what would you like to eat? What would you like to drink? Exactly. You uh, uh, remember now. Uh, uh, what would you uh, like to eat? Let's write here the question so you can. Read. Okay. Uh, obviously, you have to be polite. You have to say good evening. My name is Jose Alejandro. And um, are you ready to take? Are you ready to order? Huh? Okay, okay. Good evening. My name is Alejandro. Uh, uh, today we will we will have a. Uh, a kind of a kind of food. What would you like to to eat? Good evening, sir. Uh, what's mm -hmm. today lunch special? We have pupusas, we have tamales, we have enchiladas, we have pizza. And, and what would you like to eat? Do you have chicken salad sandwich? Uh, no yet, but we, we can make it. Okay, uh, I will order a, a chicken salad sandwich. Um, do you have coffee? Yes, yes. Uh, uh, coffee hard or uh, soft? Uh, just, just give me a hot coffee. Okay. Uh, uh, do you like to eat... Uh, Dessert? Yes. Um. Can you? What would you like? Mm -hmm. Can you give me a, a piece of pudding? Yeah, we we have a a pudding. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want pudding for dessert, and please add rice to my order. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Very good. Thank you, Milagro and Alejandro. <laughs> okay, I, I know you were like improvising, but <laughs> it was good. Um, remember when you, the, the, the customer or the client can say, I'll have, 
I'll have the empanadas or I'll have the sandwich or I would like a, a salad, okay? I like or I would like. Those are the expressions also that you can use. Okay, do we have another couple of students, brave students who wants to participate in this conversation? In this role play? Bradia, well, Milagro and, and Alejandro, bro, they broke the ice, right? Now you have an idea. You have an idea on how to make the conversation. Patricia, who was your partner? Um, estaba solita. <laughs> oh, you didn't have a partner. Okay, but did you make the conversation? Um, yes. Okay, because if you are the the server, you can ask for a volunteer to be to be the customer, and you can improvise too. Any volunteer? Maybe Geraldine? Okay. Okay, Patty. Lights, camera, action. <laughs> Good evening. Are you on any order? Yes. Please tell me the menu. Okay. What would you like to eat? Uh, I I is spicy green and rice. Ah, uh, good election. So, um, what would you like? Please repeat. What would you like to drink? Oh yeah, I, I like drink soda. Okay. And um, um, would you like some dessert? Yes, I will have lemon pie. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you to you. Okay, <laughs> that was good, Patty and Janaline. Yes. Okay. Um, what can you say when you when the person finished to order? What can you say? What other expression can you use? Do you have anything else? Okay. That would be another one. Would you like so anything? Would you like? Mm -hmm. Would you like anything else? Would you like anything else? Also, you can say, "I'll be, I'll be right back." Your order. I'll be, I'll be, or I will be, I will be, or I'll be right back to your order mm -hmm. as soon as possible. So those are other expressions that you can use. Good. Thank you so much, Gary. Nice. Okay, guys. Now I want you to, we're going to change uh, the topic and we're going to go over another one. This topic is about comparative adjectives, making uh, comparisons. Okay, so let me share the screen for you because this is in section four and this week you are working on section 
four, right? So we have a conversation between Claire and Steve, and I need two volunteers to read the conversation between them. Lorena and Patricia. You start, Lorena. Yes, Lorena? Ahorita, ahorita. <laughs> this is one of the best online magazines I ever read. Oh, look at this. Our world, how much do you know? <laughs> I, oh, oh, I love this. Ask, ask me a question. Um, sure. First question, which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, uh, next what the longest river in the world? That's easy, it's the Nile. 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 All right, here is Harwon. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think. Malta is more proud. Really? Okay, one more. Uh, which city is the most expensive? Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay, <laughs> okay thank you, Karen. <laughs> thank you for reading the conversation. So they are traveling by plane, they find a magazine and they are trying to answer the questions for a quiz about how much they know about the world. Well, now guys, I'm going to share with you the, the conversation. You're going to listen to the conversation from the book. Okay, here. Unit 14. It's the coldest city. Page 93. Exercise 2. Conversation. I love quizzes. Part A. Listen and practice. This is one of the best airline magazines I've ever read. Oh, look, a quiz. Our world. How much do you know? Oh, I love quizzes. Ask me the questions. Sure. First question. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? I know. Australia is larger than Mexico. Okay, next. What's the longest river in the world? That's easy. It's the Amazon. All right. Here's a hard one. Which country is more crowded, Malta or England? I'm not sure. I think Malta is more crowded. Really? Okay, one more. Which city is the most expensive, Hong Kong, London, or Paris? Oh, that's easy. Paris is the most expensive. Okay. Did you notice something different in the conversation? Oh, you were paying attention. Yes, He's, he says it's the Amazon, but in the conversation, in the written conversation, it says denial. Okay, now. Let's listen to the rest of the conversation and let's see how many questions did Steve get right. How many questions did Steve get right? Okay. 
Page 93. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. How many questions did Steve get right? So let's see how you did on this quiz. The first question, which is larger, Mexico or Australia? You said... Australia. And you're right. Both are large, but Australia is larger. Next, what's the longest river in the world? You said the Nile. Sorry, that's wrong. It's the Amazon. Oh, of course. I knew that. This next question I didn't know. Malta is more crowded than England. So, I got it right? I remember hearing that Malta is the most crowded country in Europe. And finally, you said that Paris is the most expensive city. Yeah, and it is, right? Sorry, Steve. Actually, Hong Kong is the most expensive of the three. Really? Wow, I guess I didn't do so well. Too right, but too wrong. No, come on. You did okay. <laughs> okay, so there is a like an inconsistent in the in the listening, right? Because the person said the Amazon and it's denial. Good, but um in this listening exercise or in this conversation, you can listen the pronunciation, right? And the intonation when you make questions in English. It's important. Oh, the intonation is very important too, right? Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? What's the longest river in the world? Oh, that's easy. All right. I'm not sure. I think. Really? Okay, one more. Those expressions are important. They are called fillers. When you speak English, it's important also to use those expressions, right? Oh, look. All right. Really? Okay. Oh, that's easy. That makes that makes you um your speaking, that makes your speaking a lot better. Now, guys, in this part, we can find a lot of examples of comparatives and superlative sentences. Okay, what is the difference between comparatives and superlatives? Or give me an example of comparatives here in the conversation. In the conversation, an example is eh, Australia and Mexico. Giant is comparativo. Eh, superlativo is que lo agranda o se exagera, no? Okay, when we compare, when we use comparatives, we compare two things, two, in this case, Mexico and Australia. Which country is larger, Mexico or Australia? Okay, we compare only two. And the answer is Australia is larger than Mexico. In the structure, we, we add ER to the, to the adjectives and we use than. Okay, Australia is larger than Mexico. Now, superlatives. In the case of superlatives, we are, we are comparing al more than three things, right? Most expensive. That's correct. Which city is the most expensive? How many cities do we have here? One. Two and three, Hong Kong, London, and Paris. We have three. So superlatives are used when you compare three or more things, right? And we use this, the structure is, uh, we use the most for long adjectives, and we use EST for short adjectives. Like in this example, what's the longest? What's the longest river in the world? 
So the adjective long, I add est. And that, what's the longest river in the world? Okay. Very good, Stephanie. So Stephanie is sharing in the chat. Com comparatives, you compare two nouns. And superlatives, you compare a noun with other nouns in a group. Or three and more. At least three, right? For, there is another one here for comparatives, like which country is more crowded, Malta or England? In this case, it's comparative, but we are not using ER, we are using more, because crowded is um, a long adjective or a two syllable adjective. So we use more, which country is more crowded, Malta or England or England? Answer, I think Malta is more crowded. So this is just like an introduction for superlatives and comparatives. Now let's look at the rules. We are going to study the rules. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we have here the adjectives. We have long, large, dry, big, beautiful, crowded, expensive, good, and bad. Okay, each of these adjectives represents one rule. For example, long is one syllable adjective, only one syllable, long. In this case, to make the comparative with as er, and it's long, Longer, longer than, okay? And the superlative form is the longest. We add E-S-T. So remember, for comparatives, we add E-R. And for superlatives, you add est to the verb, to the adjective, sorry, to the adjective. And also the article da, adjective plus est. And in the case of comparatives, we add er, and in the majority of the cases, the word than. Okay, large. Large is an adjective that ends in e. It ends in E. So in this case, we just add, we just add the R because it, the E is already there. Just a lay E. And we'll only add the R because the E is there. The superlative, the largest, the same. I will only add ST because it's there. Okay. Now dry, what happens here? This is one syllable adjective, but ends in Y. So I drop the Y and I add I, E, R, dryer. Mm -hmm. Dryer. So in the end is drier than San Salvador. And it's hotter too. And the superlative, the driest. Also, we drop the Y, we eliminate the Y, and we write I-E-S-T. Now, big, big is one syllable adjective, but it ends, but it's vowel, consonant, vowel. Vowel, consonant, vowel. So in this case, we double the last consonant. What is the last consonant? G. G, so I double the G, I write an extra G, and I add ER. The same with the superlative, the biggest. This is easy because you would remember the hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> the biggest. That's why it's the name of that hamburger, because of the restaurant, because they want to say that they are the biggest. And actually, when you go to eat there, they are very big, right? The hamburgers are very big. 
Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. Three syllables. So it's a long adjective. So in this case, we don't add ER. Beautifuler, right? No. We add more. Only that? More beautiful? The most beautiful. Crowded? More crowded. The most crowded. Expensive? More expensive. The most expensive. And we have some irregular forms. The irregular forms, you they change completely. For example, good change to better. Better, good, better. And the superlative is the best. Bad, worse. And superlative, the worst. Mm -hmm. Very good. So tomorrow, guys, we are going to continue studying more about comparisons with adjectives, okay? So be ready for tomorrow's class. Don't miss it. And now it's time to, it's time for the wrap up. And guys, have you already worked on the section four or not yet? No yet. <laughs> no yet. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna help you. This is gonna help you, right? This class. You can start working on the section four with the comparisons. Um you can also watch the video that is there in the platform, the video of the other teacher that is explaining the the rules also. Okay, so tomorrow, as I said. We are going to continue. So tell me, what did you learn in this class? And give me one example. What did you learn there's, in this class? There's, there's the, the... You can use the structure. Test the food. Today I learned about describing food. Right? One example is mm, cheeseburgers are cheesy. Mango twist is spicy. Um, pupusas are greasy. <laughs> okay, so you learn today how to describe food and also you learn or you learn about comparisons, comparatives and superlatives. Okay, class. I, I hope you liked the class today. It was a pleasure to see you. It's Monday and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.